Hello everyone. Welcome to the Chorus demo. I'll be walking you through the capabilities of Chorus. Now, before we get started with the demo, I'd like to give you a high-level background of Chorus. Chorus is a cloud-based middleware or connector that handles data flow between multiple systems as long as there are APIs associated with them. Uh, the system could be an ERP, a PIM, a CRM, or any custom solution. So it's basically a platform agnostic solution. It's hosted on the AWS infrastructure and is a SaaS based product. Now, prior to building Chorus, we've worked with over 70 customers and based on common pain points, Chorus was developed to reduce developer dependency, increase flexibility, and provide reliable data synchronization. Coming over to the Chorus dashboard, Chorus has a very simple and clean interface that easily directs users to its features. You can customize the customer and order reports based on the selected frequency. It also gives you the number of total records processed, success rates, new customers, and new orders to name a few. And over here on the right, you can also view all of your projects. You can have multiple projects, and you can also have multiple integrations within each project. Now I'm going to go into one of the projects. Credentials is where we define the credentials initially. So in this project, we're trying to connect to an ERP server. Over here, you can see that there is a test connection button. This feature helps to ensure that given credentials are valid. A success or failure message will appear. So for each system, the credentials would be different. And you'd only provide credentials once you're setting up. And as you can see, none of this is hard coded. So if something has to change in the future, you can pretty much self-manage them over here. Now, going into integrations, integrations is the brain of Chloris. Chloris allows you to create and define integration touch points with utmost ease and is completely flexible in that way. These are the touch points for this project, and this could be completely different for your business. So basically, Chloris is a completely flexible tool, and you can incorporate all your business logic within Chloris. We will now see how the system is architected to achieve this. Now let's get into one of the pipes. Here we can see there are options for dynamic and batch synchronization. Batch is basically automated or scheduled synchronization. The synchronization happens based on frequency defined by the customer. We will also see how to set that up in a bit. Dynamic, on the other hand, is basically a real-time synchronization of data between two systems. For example, in customer-specific pricing, it doesn't make sense to store all of the information on the e-commerce system. It's much more effective to have all the business logic maintained in the ERP and to pull up the relevant information. Coming over to credentials, this is where you would select multiple endpoints based on what you need and what you're working on. Now, moving on to mappings. Mapping is one of the key features which differentiates us from our competitors. We pull in all of the API endpoints from both the systems and populate it over here. So you can effortlessly set up field level mappings between the data fields. Mapping itself is pretty simple. Just drag and drop. If you have fields coming in from different locations, you can also view where it's coming from over here. You can also add custom fields here where Chorus pulls all the custom fields when new fields are fed into the API. These are the modifiers. Modifiers is another feature that a lot of our customers liked. It defines how the data gets transformed and with modifiers, there is no more hard coding. Each system has its own naming conventions, so you can maintain all the translation over here. The merchant would have complete control over this part. 
on the right, we have predefined functions that you can use. Find, format, just, strip, etc. For this particular action over here, you can see that we're concatenating the first name and last name. You can check if it's working by previewing it over here. So I'm entering my first name and last name. You can see that it's working perfectly fine. You can also define a lot more business logic within Chorus, and that's why it's completely flexible. Now, going back to integrations, in case of any corrupted data on other systems, you can enable or disable the integrations with just a click. It's really simple and user-friendly. That way, you can enable back the synchronization once the issues are resolved. To go back to what I said about batch synchronization, you can schedule or automate the sync process for as less as five minutes. Alternatively, outside of the dynamic and batch sync that we saw, we can also perform a manual sync in case you would want to synchronize data instantaneously. You'll also be able to view logs, and this could help you to troubleshoot with failure, in case any. Now, within Chloris, you also have access to enable console logs, which is exhaustive and it's disabled by default, as there is some information captured here. You can enable this if needed. Now, moving on to one of the flows. Flows is basically a developer module. It builds flows seamlessly with the drag and drop feature. It's user friendly and intuitive as to what happens in the flows. You can do a lot of stuff like connecting to databases, performing conditions, etc. With Chloris, you can do a lot more and it's not just limited to integrations. You can also trigger emails based on certain conditions like inventory thresholds, failure notifications. This can be completely customized based on your business needs. And this kind of speaks up to the flexibility of Chloris I mentioned earlier. Now, to manage access within Chloris, you can assign specific roles to specific users, as you can see here. On a high level, these are the capabilities of Chloris. Please reach out to our Chloris team for further information. Thank you. Yeah.